Hello, welcome to Flower Juice. My name is John McDonald, and today we just want to make a fun little arrangement. Now, this is something that maybe you could do with the kids, and uh, it's using an old tin can. So I've got this tin can that had fruit salad in it, and I quite like the colours. I think it's quite fun. So we're picking up on those kind of colours for the flowers that we're going to use, but we're just going to use flowers that were easy to get, that are really from the garden or from, um, you know, just kind of like homegrown flowers, which is quite nice. Now, it's important to use the type of uh, tin opener that will leave uh, a nice edge. So you don't want to have this jaggy, uh, or dangerous in any way. So we've got a nice tin opener that we've just got, having fought with different tin, over, oh, tin openers over the years. So this is now ideally cut and perfect for using as a container. So the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna pop a little bit of water into our container. And it's kind of interesting to look at things that are everyday and think about how we could use them for other things. So repurposing this as a flower pot, as uh, for, for cut flowers or even for a plant, painting it, there's different things we can do and it's quite fun. And then ultimately it can be recycled and come back again as another tin of fruit. So the materials I've got is I've got a little bit of sage, a little bit of mint. This was some locally grown gypsophila, some achillea, uh, some, oh I can't remember the name, uh, little roses, little gerbera, a couple of little shasta daisies, hosta and Virginia. and these are the seed heads for something and I cannot remember. Oh, it'll come to me. Right, anyway, <laughs> let's just make our arrangement. So ultimately, just use the materials you've got. So I quite like this piece of um, mint. And what I really want to do is use our gypsophila and our mint to create a little bit of a framework. Uh, so I'm looking at this sage and actually it can, it can face that way, uh, which is good. And I'm just using my little hand, my left hand as like a little version of this vase. So I think what we'll do is we'll have our Achillea quite low. And that just takes a little bit of weight lower down. And really with, I want to say Cosmos, but it's not. Oh, this is going to annoy me. It'll be in the description. I'll make sure it's correct in the description. And that's something we tend to do with all our videos. If you click on the description, uh, there will be a list of flowers that we've used, the names of the flowers. Um, so if you're unsure as to what we're using, we might not mention it in the video, but click on the description and you get a few more details there. If we've sourced a particular container, then we'll list where we've done it as well. Um, Right, so I'm really just making a very kind of rough little structure with these materials. And this little structure is going to be the thing that can hold our slightly more special flowers, which will be easy enough to put in. So we've got our Achillea. And Having these nicely spaced is a good idea, but not necessarily all on the same level. And then we need to think, what's our focal flower? So I think a rose is a good idea. Nigella. Nigella. <laughs> oh, the problem is when you get the wrong one in your mind, then you run with the wrong idea. So it is Nigella, which is lovely as a flower, uh, but I really like it as a seed head. And these little germinies are dead cute. So I actually don't mind coming lower down with these as well. That's the thing we want to think of is this can sit a little bit up. And our little Shasta daisies again can be lower down and higher up. 
So you don't want everything at exactly the same level or as it tends to look a little bit odd. What's nice about these is that they've got the yellow center, which really matches uh, the yellows of the other flowers. So they really fit in there very well. So we've got our little bokeh. There's no foliage that's going to be below the tying point. And we're just going to tie it with a natural twine. I say natural because then when the bokeh is finished, it can just go as, as one straight into the compost bin. If you use a synthetic one, it's not going to compost, so you're better with that. So we've got a really cute little bokeh. We want to just make sure that we're happy with the way it's sitting. I think we can take that a little bit lower so that we're not hiding the sage. I'm happy with that. So now we can cut it. And you probably want to cut so you've got about one third to two thirds is generally the rule. Now that's sitting a little high. It's not bad though. But I think I will take just a little touch off there. It is amazing how short you sometimes have to cut things to fit into a container. Um, yeah, you see that's a little bit more stable and a lot happier. So we've got a cute little herby summer design that's featuring an unusual container. It's a project you could do with the kids and it's just fun. So I think what would be really good is if you could make about five of them, have them all lined up and then uh, decorate a table. I think that would look really, really good. So just a fun little idea that I hope you've enjoyed for today's video. If you have enjoyed today's video, but you haven't subscribed, then click here to subscribe. We have a new video out every week and we'd love you to join us next week for our latest design. Take care for now and we see you soon.